You guys always ask me in the comment section, how can I get free gems in Clash and how can I upgrade my cards easy? Today, I'm gonna give you the answer for both of that and also will tell you how you can progress in Clash Royale without any problem in a really, really short time. So guys, we are directly jumping into that. I think most of you guys know the answer already, but I mean, some of you guys don't know the tricks which I'm talking about. So if you guys enjoyed this one, you guys wanna see more of these tips and tricks videos about progression in Clash Royale, I would really appreciate you. Give me a fat thumbs up on the video and also subscribe and let me know if this video helped you or if you already know all the tips. So this is really, really easy. We talk for sure about the masteries. Masteries are in the game for, I feel like four months already and people really changed up their place there, how to collect masteries. So first of all, you can collect masteries from ladder play. So this is how I got most of my masteries leveled up and it's just about playing grinding with your main deck but i think the guess i guess the main problem for you guys is that you just have like one or two decks max so you can just grind this deck and if you play a lot with this decks you most likely have this deck already maxed out masteries wise but you got already good amount a good amount of gems a good amount of banner tones even if you don't really care about it i at least don't really care about it if i maxed out and also a ton of wild cards in there so this is like the really first thing otherwise you can also grind challenges from that and this is what i really really would say is worth it so there's some changes like i think the super mini packet challenge where you can all easily you were able to easily upgrade your guards there i guess i think there was like kind of um a trick there so when the mini super mini packet change came out you could easily upgrade your guards there so that was a really really good thing but also the normal challenges right if you get gems out of the masters you can invest them in challenges and then you will get like also gems again since you're using Cards, and then once again you can put them in the changes so it's a really really good investment for you guys invest into changes grind the changes with new decks of cards which you think are really easy to level up mastery wise and then you get gems again and you can also grind more challenges and also you improve in the game right because since you're like playing challenges, you get better with different type of decks since you can play them but you also get gems and also rewards out of the chest first and also you get this mastery rewards but right now we're talking about the trick which most of you guys didn't before that since you cannot use you since you cannot grind masteries and by the way beautiful mighty mine on the back you cannot grind um masteries in friendly belts i think you might most of you guys know that but there's a similar there's a similar friendly battle mode in clash Royale, which is called party mode i think most of you guys don't really care about party mode i think most of you guys don't really play party mode but currently or right now even it wasn't like really supercell's goal right supercell wanted you guys to play a ton of clash Royale, a ton of ladder a ton of challenges but this is not happening right now ladder at least in top ladder or they also uh, let me know what you guys think about it right now either thing miller doesn't really change i think like people are not really playing that a lot but currently the, like the party mode got a hype which I think party mode never had before and the thing is with the party mode right now is that you can collect masteries from there so you would say okay where's the difference between ladder and party mode first of all the matchmaking in party mode in the party mode is not um, trophy based so it's all about card level based and this is the great thing so even if you're like 6000 trophies you can face players at 4 K trophies as long as your level is important and now it's about the thing there are a ton of streamers out there but also you can do it yourself which are sniping each other in the party mode so normally yeah you get some rewards you get some mastery leveled up for sure if you do it in a normal play on ladder you like an example like trying to kill troops with the hunter and for sure if you do it like a ton of times you will max out the hunter eventually at one point but the thing is like with the party mode mastery you are able to play a ton of games against people which snipe each other at the same time so example there's streamer out there on twitch i'm also sometimes streaming the masteries the fameo grind um that I'm actually saying, okay, let's search in like 10 seconds together, right? And then all of the stream snipers in the chat are ready and actually playing against each other in 10 seconds. And also playing decks, which really, really benefit the play style, which we are like trying to do. So at example, we are grinding, we want to grind our Hunter, right? Hunter is pretty easy to grind since we're always using an Elixir Golem Mirror clone deck. So first of all, if you find someone which also farms, there could be a ton of farmers there. They are, first of all, you want to uh, kill each other towers i'm um, like all the four towers and then you're stacking your egos in the back you're gonna murder them you're gonna clone them and then one player is going to defend 
first of all, the Egorms, and then gonna play their own Egorms, and then they're gonna, uh, the other one is gonna kill the Egorms, and gonna play Egorms again. So first of all, uh, first of all, it's pretty easy, right? Pretty easy, understandable, right? We are all are gonna start our playing our Egorms on the left side, and on the other side, we're both each other killing them. So first of all, it's really great teamwork. It's about not playing against each other. It's actually helping each other in this party mode to grind as many masteries as you can. And I saw people, I saw players getting over five thousand gems in a few days so they were just grinding a week full of masteries and got five thousand gems you need to think about that fifty dollar just worth it like in game just with grinding the game a lot it's absolutely crazy for basically free for sure the time investment is there but i still think that with just like playing the game helping each other and you don't even need to do it in a stream this is also pretty important you don't need to be in a stream of some youtuber or like some streamer you can also do it with your friend party mode matchmaking the only really important things that your cards are on a really good same level right if you both have like if your friend and you in a call right now you both have ego on level 12 you just want to search at the perfect time at the same time um in the party mode and if you do that you will find each other and the great thing is also not like ladder you can face each other like twice three times four times in a row which is absolutely crazy yeah this is the, all i wanted to talk about right this is how we do it in streams a ton of people are actually grinding have a ton of fun with it even it seems pretty boring for some of you guys it's like it's just playing right it's just like farming but i actually was also thinking that but i had a ton of fun and even i'm like currently maxed out i got over twenty thousand gems in the last two or three weeks or four weeks out of that since i was also pretty close and also was grinding before that in ladder um but it's so so easy to farm some cards maxed out Yes, it's not really what Supercell intended to do, but they can't ban that. They actually, we actually asked Supercell creators, we asked them, is it fine that we do that with our community? And they actually said yes. So it's a really great thing to play each other, play with your friend on call, do it together, have fun, and absolutely be able to upgrade your cards easier and kind of improve on that. Because since you're able to get a ton of gems out of that, you can go and once again, which I talked earlier about, into the Grand Challenge, and in the Grand Challenge, you can farm once again your cards and so on so this is a really really great thing if we talk about masteries you can play ladder normally for sure but the great thing is you can play masteries on um even with under level cards in the party mode snipe each other look out for streams having a friend and call just search at the same time and play your eagles in the back kill each other and get a ton of mastery value out of that and then when you have a good level you can go into ladder and also farm your cards there so this is just a really really good starter tip for you guys well if you didn't know the trick let me know in the comment section did you know this trick or you were like okay i really hear i really heard of that but i was never on twitch never was on a live stream so you don't need to be in the stream once once again and as you guys can see just look at our just look at my currently at my badges here this is what i farmed in my stream together with my community since there are a ton of people searching at the same time for sure sometimes you're also not facing with someone who's doing masteries and it's like really try harding but currently there are a ton of farmers out there and just grinding masteries and party which you're helping each other and get a ton of stuff out of there look at this i for sure had some cards already on level 7 could you also add like level 10 cards um level 10 uh, level 7 cards like which i no normally use also in ladder skeletons fireball musketeer and so on but goblin gang fisherman bomb tower rascals this were all cards also um i think the royal ghost this were all cards which i just maxed with the help of masteries with the help of my community i hope you guys should, uh, enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more tips if you guys knew about the tip if you guys already knew that you can get so many gems out of that and also yeah because some people are wondering how can i get easily cast up leveled up and i hope this tip helped you yeah people will say this is not really allowed this is a really bad way to do it but i actually asked super sell a ton of youtubers a ton of streamers are uh, doing that and i actually know that some people of my community starting doing this one month ago and now they have a ton of cards on a new level and they always so got better and clashed since they were guiding challenges out of the gems and also even it's kind of bad for me since some of you might not uh, spend any more money in clash well with my code but i hope this video made it worth it um so thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for watching and i wish you a ton of good luck with your masteries